Dear participants, uh, esteemed speakers, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to welcome you all in Rome to attend the OECD Global Forum on Wellbeing. I regret not being able to join you in person today, but I will be present with you in the concluding day. I am very glad to introduce uh, uh, the forum today with the Secretary General of the OECD, Matthias Korman, and the President of uh, ISTAT, Francesco Maria Kelly. Our respective institutions uh, have joined efforts to organize uh, this event, uh, and we would uh, like to praise uh, the work done by the OECD, including collaboration with the Italian Ministry of Economy and Finance and the Italian Statistical Institute. The Bank of Italy also provided valuable contributions. Um, we have gathered a remarkable set of speakers to coming from a variety of backgrounds to provide data evidence, policy assessment, and expert opinions. And at the most of this forum and current G7 presidency, Italy is deeply committed to advancing the well-being agenda in G7 countries and beyond building on the discussions started by the Japanese G7 presidency last year. Indeed, against this background of persistent inequalities, the global landscape is undergoing a profound transformation from the growing impacts on, of climate change and of the demographic transition to the rapidly advancing frontiers of technology and digitalization. Um, in this context, uh, pandemic and geopolitical shocks have reminded us that the resilience of our economies is essential for the well-being of our citizens and that it should be measured and assessed through multidimensional indicators. Welfare, social cohesion and sustainability require broadening the metrics for successful economic policies. This means uh, putting uh, additional uh, indicators, for example, quality of life, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability at the head of our decision making as an essential complement to traditional economic variables to measure the impact of success of policies. It also requires a deeper reflection on well being measurement and on the desirability of adding a broader set of metrics to indicators such as GDP, so we can assess more thoroughly the well-being and sustainability of our society and of the planet. Uh, this is why this forum represents a unique opportunity for policymakers, statisticians, academics, business leaders, civil society, and all other stakeholders to come together, share knowledge, and develop act actionable uh, strategies. Only by collaborating, we can uh, ensure the transformative changes required for a sustainable and inclusive future. Uh, Italy is uh, at the forefront of, well of the well-being agenda. It is not by chance that today's forum is in Italy marks 20 years from its first gathering in Palermo in 2004. This is not just a coincidence given the important role that Italy has played in developing a multidimensional approach to measuring well-being and embedding in the policymaking process. Since uh, 2017, Italy has been one of the first countries among EU and G7 members to integrate a dashboard for 12 indicators of equitable and sustainable well-being into its economic and financial planning documents. The fort goes beyond monitoring and includes an exercise to forecast such well-being indicators based on estimates of uh, the impact of government policies. Uh, this implies a commitment to pursue policies that are instrumental to make progress on the well-being domains covered by the indicators and to be 
accountable towards Parliament for the results achieved. The National Recovery and Resilience Plan has added a new momentum uh, to this endeavor. Uh, let me now turn uh, to the G7 agenda. Uh, under the Italian presidency, the G7 uh, finance track has worked extensively this year on topics that have significant well-being implications, uh, such as artificial intelligence and the climate change. I look forward to the to discussions that will take place in the dedicated section of uh, uh, the forum. International cooperation among uh, policymakers will be crucial in addressing uh, the global implication of uh, AI advancements and identify best practices to promote economic growth while supporting a human-centered approach to enhance well-being. On uh, climate change, in the context of the decarbonization of uh, our economies, it is uh, key to ensure uh, uh, just an inclusive uh, uh, transition, addressing the social and the distributional impacts of climate change mitigation uh, strategies, um, as well as their accessibility for a society at large. It is important to integrate in overall economic policy making the progress achieved in recent years on how we track and evaluate well being. Climate change and AI are two prominent issues where such an approach is most needed. Let me conclude by wishing that the discussions in the forum will advance the well-being agenda and help shape a better future for all.